Hey everyone, good to see you. So today I want to talk about the 2022 F1 calendar, all the circuits that we're going to see. It is not very different from 2021, but let's go through the list together and see what we think of it. So the season is going to start starting Bahrain. My son, Sasha, eight years old, asked me if Bahrain was the circuit that I hated the most because I had my crash and burned my hand. And I did reply that I actually love Bahrain. It's a great circuit. It's great for overtaking. It's a cool place to go to. It's always nice weather. I scored my first ever podium in Formula 1 there, so I, I do actually like the Bahrain. We're gonna do, go to Saudi Arabia. I was very skeptical in 2021 when the track came. I must say I was amazingly surprised by how good the race was in Saudi Arabia. So that was pretty fun to watch. High speed corners in the city, pretty good. Then the season is gonna go to uh, Melbourne, Australia, one of my favorite race track. Very difficult to overtake, quite bumpy. There's been some changes made in, in Melbourne to improve the overtaking. Hopefully it's not gonna Gonna destroy the really good flow that you are on the track but I think they, they've done a, a good job to try to improve the racing whilst the qualifying was amazing. Then we're gonna go to Italy Imola one of my favorite racetrack as well uh, very old style very up and down uh, double right corner Acqua Minerale absolutely incredible so I love that one. Then Miami then we come to Miami I think Miami is gonna be the race of the year it's been sold out within one hour all tickets uh, everyone wants to go to Miami they're preparing something really cool what a location I mean I live in Miami so you know I'm happy to see the Formula 1 coming here but what a location for a Grand Prix I'll be there myself and I can't wait to see what it's like Formula 1 is gonna come back to Europe Barcelona Monaco Baku Canada it's not very Europe but it's part of the Europe bound uh, Silverstone Austria Paul Ricard in France and then Hungary Hungary ring summer break after Hungary all the time and then you come back to Spa then Zandvoort the crazy orange army is gonna be there it was amazing to see in 2021 Monza Russia Russia, and then you start traveling again after Russia so then Singapore the first ever night race there in 2008 has been on the calendar for some time and it's been extended so pretty good to see that it's a really good event in Singapore really nice and then Japan Japan is my favorite circuit of the Suzuka is my favorite circuit of the of the world of all circuits it just flows at high speed there's a great atmosphere there always absolutely love going to Japan and then Austin Texas USA pretty good event Mexico just after that and then you've got the two last ones in, in Brazil, Sao Paulo, one of my also very favorite tickets, very short up and downs. And then Abu Dhabi, uh, the finale, always in Abu Dhabi those last few years. We're gonna see how, how that goes. It's not the most exciting circuit for racing, even though in 2021, the last lap was super exciting. It's not the, the, the most exciting circuit for racing, but it's always offers a great show. It's pretty good location in the December, end of November, early December, you got good weather and it's not too far from Europe. I think, you know, there are, there are tracks that would like to I mean there were a lot of tracks that I wanted to see back in the calendar and that were actually added Imola came back Zandvoort came back I really enjoy Nürburgring personally I think it's a great old circuit most of the modern tracks like I'm gonna take Russia I'm not a huge fan of Russia circuits it's just 90 degrees corners big runoff areas it's very flat there's no elevation it doesn't really give you that taste of, of good you know compared to Suzuka elevation turning no room for mistakes obviously safety is, is very important and I know what I'm talking about but also I think we need to keep the spice on some of the circuits and, and some of the latest one that were built just lack a little bit of that to be fair so yeah generally I think the 2022 calendar is pretty good there's a good mix there's gonna be a lot of travel for the guys it's a lot of races I would personally think that 18 Grand Prix a year would be a good number when I races I went from 18 to 21 or 22 and, and really I think I felt like 18 was a good number it's very hard to go above 20 I mean there's only 52 weeks in a year so when you have 22 Grand Prix and you've got a winter break and a summer break that gives you you know a very compact calendar when you can go racing so yes I would say 18 Grand Prix is pretty good I would almost do something like some years you know have Nürburgring on the calendar and then the year after Imola and then the year after another one and so on and so on meaning that the calendar doesn't look the same every year but you actually go every other year to an, back to a circuit that you were to which would allow more circuits to come in the calendar that would be pretty good obviously to be in a Formula 1 truck you need to be a grade 1 circuit meaning you've got a maximum safety measure but there's actually quite uh, quite a bit of circuit having that grade 1 around the world Malaysia for example I love going to Malaysia it's a great circuit and it would be nice to see it there in a calendar enough talking from me guys what do you think about it which truck would you like to see which changes would you make just let me know thanks